Hey, what's up guys? So I've been on Optivia for one year and I wanted to give you like an honest review. So let's get into it before I go into work. So in this moment, it's February 15th, 2024, and I started the program on February 15th, 2023. I was on the program for about 30 days and lost 15 pounds. And then I kind of stopped the program abruptly because of uh, getting some stuff checked out medically. Not a big deal. And then I went back on the program in October 2023 to get ready for a cruise over Thanksgiving um, when I'm on this program, which wasn't a good idea. I planned to do the program while I was on the cruise, but I learned that when you're on this 5-in-1 program, I do not recommend going on like family cruises and trips like that if you can while you're on this program because it was like way too hard to I wasn't ready for that trend I wasn't ready for that kind of environment when I was on that five and one I had my routine at that point I was down I was back down to like 167 I was doing good I started at like 180 and I was down to 167 went on the family cruise and then when I got back, I was back up to 173, 177. And the cruise was like nine days. It was a long trip. So, learn that. Like, I'm not ready for that kind of level of environment. <laughs> so, learn that. So, when I got back from the cruise, it was like early December. So, then we were in the middle of the holidays. I tried to get back on the plan. So the next thing I'll tell you is it is so hard to restart the plan than just to be on it from the beginning and then just do it than it is to restart. Because restarting is so hard because if you're off track just a little bit, like you have too many condiments or you put creamer in your coffee or you had a Subway salad, um, like for me I learned that if I'm off course just a little bit, I am I am off the tracks by the end of the day because um, subconsciously I'm just like sabotaging myself. So I'm either on it 100% or I'm not. So I just want you to know it is very hard to restart because you're not losing weight the same. You think you've got it figured out. Um, you think the weight's going to come off fast. And it's really hard mentally just to get back on track. I was finally able to get back on track in January, around January 8th, I think. Um, so my coach and some other people in our Facebook chat, the community is great. Get involved with your community. It kind of keeps you motivated and you're thinking about the plan rather than something else. Or I wish I could have some wine or chocolate or, you know, whatever it is. So it is good to have the community just to talk to about those things. So around January 8th, I was able to like legit do it because the first one to three days is like the hardest because your body is like resetting. Um, so once you get past those days, it's good. Like just do one day at a time. Like I just need to get through this one day on this plan and then the next day is easier and then the next day is easier. So it is a mental, it's an emotional roller coaster, but you just have to stick with it. Think about the bigger picture. So yeah, it is good to have a community to get through those tough times. So around January 8th, I was able to be back on the plan. And right now it's February 15th, like I said. And I got back down to, I got down to 161. I do weigh myself every day, that's not really a popular opinion, but I know that things like water, salt, you need it, you haven't gone number two in a couple days, like those things can impact the scale, but I keep that in mind, but I weigh myself every single day. So right now I'm 161, my goal is 150, I'm almost there, I'm almost 20 pounds down, and the plan works you just have to be prepared for it mentally like the physical aspect of losing weight is easy you just have to get through that mental challenge part 
And there were some times when, like, I didn't get my, my Octavia box hadn't arrived yet. And I was like, what do I do? I don't have any feelings. How do I get to the next thing? And then I was looking at the actual Optivia packets and they're basically like 100 to 110 calories and then like 10 to 14 grams of protein. So I'll show you some things like code red, worst case scenario, out of fuelings, your box comes today or the next day, what do you do? I'll show you how I just get to that point because if it's, you're not supposed to be on these feelings like for the rest of your life. There's, you're supposed to transition eventually to doing stuff on your own. So I'll show you a few things I eat when I'm waiting for my box to come, like code red situation. So the first one are these Chobani yogurts, and they're 110 calories, just like our fuelings, and the protein is 11 grams. Very similar to a fueling. I know this has other stuff like dairy and I know fiber and carbs, but I'm talking about you just need to eat something and get your protein in and have low calories. This is one of the things I eat when I'm waiting for that box to come. Another thing are these um, protein shakes. Look, it got it has 25 grams of protein, okay, and it's 170 calories for the whole bottle, 25 grams of protein. So I would like have this for breakfast one day <clears throat> or for lunch. Just when you get hungry, it's not time for your lean and green yet. Don't have a fueling, boom, there you go. And then lastly um, is this Isopure protein powder. This one is good because it's low carb. And then one scoop is 110 calories and 25 grams of protein. It's even better than a fueling, but obviously not as appetizing maybe. Oh, it's starting to snow. So anyway, I got to go into work, but I wanted to show you all those things. I'm still in the program. Goal is 150, I'm at 161. And if you have any questions, just let me know down below. Thanks.